Well, it's been three, four days since I've actually picked up the camera, but just been busy trying to get stuff done. As you can see, we got some gravel. Traded the skitter off. And I wanted to show you the end of the barn out here. Keep the rain off the land, it's raining. Both sides are painted. Nice guy from Bridgeton or somewhere is up that way. I don't know actually where he's living, but uh, got some rain there. So anyway, yeah, it's raining out. Drizzly day, about uh, 40 degrees. Just a messy day. But anyway, <clears throat> I've been just busy doing stuff like that. And uh, yesterday, I was gonna take some video up at Jericho. We went up in the mountains there, rode the Jeep round up at Jericho, up in New Hampshire. I got all the way to Waterford, remember, I didn't have the camera. And it, it was snowing up there and kind of crappy anyway, so it wasn't no big deal. But today, I'll show you my progress as I go along. I'm gonna close up this hole. You can see I already got one flat fender up there. I got another one right there. I'm gonna kind of get all the flat fender stuff up there. Um, I was gonna put that together this winter. Carol says I ought to do the Farmall H first. And I think her wisdom is pretty smart. We'll use that more than we will a flat fender. You know, we got the CJ5, so. Anyway, I'm gonna get at it and I'll, I'll bring you along little bits and pieces later. Well, I got that all trimmed out, so, you know. And I could use another coat on some of that stuff, but I'm not worrying about it. This is just storage up here, so we'll put some stuff up here. Well, I got the hood, windshield frame, back tailgate, although that one doesn't have Willis written on it. It's one of the cheap ones. Uh, I can remedy that. I've also got a hood, the original one that has Willis on it, which is in perfect shape, so I probably won't be using this either. But I will be using the windshield frame and the fenders and the rest of the body, which is upstairs. So anyway, this is all stored away now, which is kind of nice. Now I just got a whole bunch of other stuff to clean up. I did get rid of almost 20 gallons of oil yesterday. So I got a whole bunch of buckets there all washed out. So we're gaining on getting this thing under control a little bit. They may fly off, but oh, I'm spooked. I've spooked them. Two great blue herrings right there. They're not always in the swamps. Kind of startled them at first, but I guess they're okay. I'm gonna go back inside, let them do their thing. Whoop. Yeah, they don't like me out here. So anyway, been cleaning. I just welded up an andiron for a friend of ours and uh, made a mask, but yeah, anyway, get that up there pretty well straightened out and uh, just start to work that little hole right there. We'll get her worked up here in a minute. Well, I got that mess there cleaned up and uh, you know, we've swept all the way to the door. That stuff's all gonna get thrown away tomorrow when the dump's open. And I actually swept over this way here. It's, it's uh, starting to look a little like something. Tomorrow I'm going to take care of the stuff in there. Get that vise put up onto the shaper. And get all that mess cleaned up. We'll kind of work our way around here in a circle. And hopefully here within, you know, four or five days I'll get this thing straightened out. I probably won't do any more video on the rest of it. But just wanted to not let you know what I was doing. Uh, <laughs> found this in the road you can see it says 600 that's a 600 pound coil spring don't know what it came out of but it's never been run it's brand new i mean they haven't even worn the paint off in it so somebody bought that and either had it in the back of a truck or something i've had it for about four or five years we picked it up on the side of the road somewhere i don't even remember where we were but anyway i gotta put that up overhead somewhere just in case i want a piece of steel it's real good spring steel Anyway, I'm going to let you go, everybody. Take care, and we will see you on the next one.